Hello! Welcome back to the Forager Chick channel. I'm Anne Marie. And if you're new here, welcome to the Forager Chick channel. I hope you enjoy your visit with us today. I am going to talk to you about something really cool. It's a mushroom. Lion's mane mushroom. I'll be right back. I was gifted this amazing amount of lion's mane mushroom. Check this out. Here's just a piece of it. You got to see the big one. Look at it. Is this not tremendous? This whole thing I think is like, I don't know, maybe eight pounds. It's just fabulous. So if you don't know much about lion's mane, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about it. So lion's mane does not have gills. It has teeth. See that? Little teeth, little spines. That's where the spores come out. Lion's mane mushroom also grows in trees, not on the ground. And they usually tend to grow very high up in the trees. So there's many different varieties of the lion's mane, and its scientific name is Hericium. This one in particular is Hericium arenaceus. So there's also one that has looks more like um, coral, a coral tooth um, lion's mane, and there's one called bear's head. So there's a couple of different ones, but here in the south, we have this one. Pom-pom mushroom is another name for it, common name for it. But this is a winter mushroom. It usually starts right around November, end of November, and goes through probably March. So when you find them, you wanna keep revisiting the tree that it was at to see if more grow. Now, when you are harvesting this mushroom, you don't have to take the entire thing out of the tree. You could just cut it, leave a piece, like maybe a piece of this, half of this, and it may still continue to grow. And also, you might even get another one that same year. So it's kind of cool. It's good and it's bad because if you see a lot of lion's mane coming out of a tree, that tree is nearing the end of its life. And if you're just starting to see some small ones, you have a few years, but if you start seeing the tree look like marshmallows exploded out of it, I mean everywhere, and I have seen one like this, where there's just a lion's mane at the top, lion's mane on the side, lion's mane at the bottom, at the base, that tree is pretty much dead, and you probably want to take it down. But anyway, we get the benefit of it because we have food from the tree, which is really nice. So lion's mane, what's it good for? Well, of course, food, that's the main thing, and Lion's mane can be treated like um, crab meat or lobster. I know that sounds funny, but for people that don't eat seafood, you can use the lion's mane in place of a lot of the uh, crab dishes and stuff. So, for example, you can make lion's mane crab cakes, and I have that recipe in my book, The Wild Eating with Forager Chicks. There's also a recipe in there for lion's mane scampi, which is absolutely delicious from my co-writer, Denise. It's fabulous. Um, since then, since we've written a book, we found a recipe for a lion's mane chowder. Holy crap, this thing is fabulous. So if you like clam chowder, New England clam chowder, this is like it on steroids. We use the lion's mane instead of the clams, and there's potatoes in there just like a regular chowder. There's cheese if you want cheese in there. There's heavy cream, or in my case, I don't use a lot of cream because it's not, it doesn't agree with me. So I use coconut milk or coconut cream, and I love it. But this dish is fabulous. Another couple of things you could do with it for cooking is, and I'm gonna do this today, I'm gonna saute these up in little pieces and add some taco seasoning, because I'm going somewhere tonight and we're gonna have tacos, so I thought I'd bring some lion's mane tacos. Um, so you could use that instead of meat, and or you could add it with some chicken if you really like to your tacos but you can have a nice vegan taco by using the lion's mane with the taco seasoning add some slaw maybe some uh, cashew cheese on top um 
maybe some pickled onions, whatever you like on your tacos, black beans. So that's one thing. Another thing you could do. And then there's this really cool guy. If you want to check him out, his name is Derek Sarno, S-A-R-N-O. He's one of the co-founders of Wicked Kitchen. And he's a vegan chef. I believe he's out of England. I'm not positive, but go find him. I'll try to leave a link up here for him. Put it in a description for his channel because he does things with lion's mane that you would not believe. You can slice this in like, I would say for this particular one, cut this in three pieces and then put it in a super hot cast iron skillet and then put another skillet on top of it and press it down and then turn it over, do it again. You don't put any butter, any oil, anything in the pan just yet. You sear it on both sides and you kind of squish it down a little bit. And after the moisture comes out of the mushroom, because there's a ton of moisture in lion's mane mushroom, if you felt this, this one right here is probably at least a pound, but there's a lot of moisture and you want all that moisture to come out. And I'm not gonna go into the full details how to make it because if you just watch his video, it's really amazing. But he turns this lion's mane into what looks like a steak. Swear to God, I am not kidding. It is brown and crispy and it's squished down and it's juicy and full of flavor. He puts all these seasonings and butter and all kinds of good things on it. I made it. It's fabulous. It's one of the really good ways to cook it. So this is also highly medicinal and a lot of people will use this as medicine rather than eat it. Now to me, you know, if you've been following me for a while, food is medicine, right? So I am going to always eat my medicine first and then make medicine into other forms later. But lion's mane is fabulous for brain health, for cognitive function. It just, it contains all these really good erinacines. Hopefully I pronounced that right. <laughs> which are diterpenes. So there's triterpenes, diterpenes, and polysaccharides in there. I know, you're like, what the what did you just say? <laughs> so mushrooms contain many medicinal compounds in there. And because they have so many different compounds, they have to be uh, treated differently. So if you've made tinctures before, uh, like herbal extracts and stuff, most of the time you would just do an alcohol extract, right? Well, with mushrooms, you have to do what's called a dual extract, a hot water extraction and an alcohol extraction. So the hot water extraction extracts all the polysaccharides, all the good immune boosting properties, immune healing properties. And then the alcohol extracts all the diterpenes and the triterpenes, which are good for the big C, you know, and if anybody's going through chemotherapy or radiation, it's beneficial for that. So a tincture is a great way to take your medicine. You could also make it into a tea. You could also make it into a dried tea extract and then just add water when you want it and have your nice cup of tea. You could dehydrate it, powder it, add it to different soups and stews and sauces. You could blend it in the, um, after you powder it, after you dehydrate it and powder it, you could go ahead and use it in a smoothie. I do recommend though, if you are going to do that in those kind of preparations like smoothies, you would do the hot water tea extract so that you are cooking the mushroom because all wild mushrooms need to be cooked. Yes, the dehydrator is cooking it slightly, but to be sure, if you do a hot water extract with it, then you can just take that, uh, blend it up really well, put it in your smoothie, have a spoonful a day for your brain, help you remember things. And it's also uh, really good for Alzheimer's. So if you know of anybody that may have Alzheimer's or dementia, lion's mane is really helpful for, for um, healing and regenerating those neurons in the brain and get them to prolong the effects of Alzheimer's. So. That's really good. I'm not a doctor though, just know. This is from things that I've read, my experience, and some people that I know with their experience. So again, I'm not a doctor, but I am an herbalist. And with cooking with the mushrooms. So all wild mushrooms need to be cooked for at least 10 minutes. And when you're first trying a new mushroom, it's really good to just have a small amount. Don't go eating a big old steak of lion's mane right away. Try a small bit, make sure it agrees with you because you know, 
This is the most nutrient dense food, wild food. All wild foods, nutrient dense, way more nutritious than what you get at the grocery store. So even if you find lion's meat at the grocery store, it's not grown in the wild, it's cultivated, and you don't really know how long it was since that was picked. This was just picked yesterday. Much more nutrient dense, so, you know, things from the wild have more nutrition, but again, just try a small piece at a time and see how it agrees with you. Hopefully you will like the lion's mane too. So if anybody has used lion's mane in a recipe or a certain type of medicine or what you've used it for to heal, uh, please leave that in the comments below because I really want to know and I know a lot of other followers would like to know as well. Like what's your favorite recipe? Did you make tea with it? Do you have it with coffee? Because there is Lion's Mane Coffee or Sigmatic Mushroom Company. I like them, I love their coffees and they have a Lion's Mane Coffee that's just amazing. The coffee is high quality too and it's just delicious. So um, let me know how you've taken your Lion's Mane before. Maybe you've taken it in capsules, maybe you've taken it as a tincture or tea, um, but I would love to know. And I'm trying to think of any other things that lion's mane is good for. Oh, it's supposed to be good for lowering your blood pressure and it's really good for the gut. By the way, most wild mushrooms are good for the gut. Yep, it puts all that good bacteria back in there and it's just healthy for your gut. So eat more mushrooms, you know my motto, mushrooms every day. So I hope you've enjoyed this little lesson on lion's mane. Let me know if you found some this year or if you need some help finding some. All right, you guys have a beautiful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.